flames with the rest of the town. This job is turning out to be a lot harder than I had expected. Go, go! Why didn't you say anything, you weasel? Weapons are only so good in as much as you use them. Resident Evil. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus also known as the G, -G, 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 G virus and we are back at it again with more Let's play Resident Evil Outbreak file number two continuing on with the second installment of this Resident Evil spin-off series Oh my god only one Ugh. In the last episode we uh we had a little bit of a rough time, but we're hanging in there It's incredibly difficult to keep these uh to keep my cohorts here alive it's easy for me to survive. I can do it. No problem. I want all all three of us to make it out of here alive, and that's kind of difficult because these guys are numbskulls, and they keep rushing off trying to get themselves killed. What I'm going to try to attempt now is to try to heal David's poison state. He is in grave condition. He's probably in danger, and he's poisoned. So what I'm going to do, there's definitely two herb mixtures out there of, of red, of green, and blue that I can acquire right now, but there are zombies out here, and... A possibility for the axe man to come after me so this scenario as far as what you have to do and the hurdles you have to top over is not that bad but it's the fact that your computer controlled characters can get killed pretty easily thanks to the axe man and thanks to getting poisoned that creates a gigantic problem I gotta go Fuck. Come on. Yeah. See, man, you step, stick your head out of the hole for one stinking second, and they are on you. They are on you, man. Axe man is fucking right up your ass. Axe right up your ass, man, before you can even take a fucking step. Shit. Made George have to take a fucking first aid spray, man. It's ridiculous. Unless he set one down. I didn't even have time to make this mixture, and because the game is fucking so fucking shitty with, 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 it's so sensitive about what you're trying to pick up, I couldn't even pick up the green herb and mix it in time with the blue one. And I gotta go back in here. Hopefully the axe man moved on. If there is a zombie, I'll just pop him with a shotgun. Not a problem. It's the axe man that's the problem. He's relentless. You know, you can get lucky and have him not show up for like a good two minutes or so in a room. But I have had nothing but bad luck with that. He's just on it. No way three shots for that guy. And like, and just like that. Damn it. What a fucking joke. Lisa, sorry about that. Over here. What a joke. What a joke. What a joke. I can't even heal this man. I can't run a few feet into this level. I wish there was a wait where I could just make these guys fucking wait. I wish I could do that. But I cannot. Hey! Hello? Hi. Come here. Hey! Ali, hey you. This way, come on! Thank you for using that, you idiot. Oh, he grabbed my grenade launcher, you fucking... You fucking ass. Hey. Give me that back. Oh, hi. He's got the axe in his hand, good. Hold on to my shotgun for now. Six rounds. Oh, he could he could have fucking wasted a round shooting a fucking a shooting at the axe, man. It's that's all bad. Look at the mess. Look how hard it is just for me to pick up two herbs. That's how fucking relentless and brutal that axe guy is. It's just fucking terrible. No, 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 no. What I just do? No, no, no. Give that back. Hey. I said give it back. Hey. Damn. Hi. <laughs> Oh god. All I want to do is grab one herb. Grab one herb, mix it. Is that so much to ask? 
This is literally like 10 seconds worth of work that I can't do because the axe man is like just hit. Oh, what? I shot those guys. This is I'm fucking trapped. virus gauge moves incredibly slow for this scenario, and I know why. It's because this scenario with the virus gauge moving normally would be impossible to beat. Between all the poisoning and all that shit, it would just be ridiculous. I don't really need this shotgun, so I'm more than willing to pop people with it, but however... I would like to not have to keep on killing respawning zombies. This is this is tough, man. Uh, axe man's gonna be right out there, though. If it's not the zombies, it's the axe man. If I take out the zombies, then the axe man's on my ass. And the zombies, for some fucking reason, are taking fucking... And the zombies can poison you, so you gotta shoot them at a distance. And when you shoot them at a distance with a shotgun, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Shotgun's a spread shot. You gotta be close. So it's just all kinds of bad right now. Oh, there's a handgun there if anyone wants it. Alyssa, uh, you guys are taking damage. Enough of this place. Enough of this area. Time to move on. Ugh. Oh. Hey. Now, now he's fucked up. See, he's, oh, he's bleeding. He should have means to heal himself. Good. Alright, well, at least he's not poisoned. Hey. Alright, we're back on track. Believe it or not, I'm about to end up with nine flame rounds in that grenade launcher. And that's pretty much all I need as far as killing the boss. And every other enemy I can pretty much avoid, so... We're actually in good shape. Like I said, the only issue is keeping these guys healthy. That's the only issue. As far as, like I said, as far as my survival, like, if I can't save all these guys, I will view that as a fail. And... And I want to get the best ending. It's possible I could botch that. It's, it's not necessarily just about winning, because I could do that pretty easily. But I want to... A have all three of these guys come to all two of them all three of us come to the finish line and I want to get the best ending and I need to have enough ammunition for the best ending not necessarily to take the boss out the boss is easy to drop but I could easily miss my shots and the aiming is trash so I could easily miss and end up not having enough to take out Axeman when the moment counts so that's the only stuff I'm worried about currently there's an herb right here. None of you fucks will take it, I bet. George, take that herb! <sighs> Test subject, Doug Frost. Age 68. Admission date, 31498. Attending physician, Alan Ederert. Administered T, blah, blah, blah. Cancerous cells discovered. Cancerous cells destroyed. Condition normal. Normal appetite. Intense appetite. Sudden change in status. Patient pronounced dead. Ten pages of the shit. Dorothy Lester, age 20, age 35. That's my, that was my grandma's name, Dorothy. Admission date 5-20-1993. Attending physician Alan Edar, Erdot. Administered T blah blah blah. Blood pressure, heartbeat returned to normal. Breathing steady, respiratory disconnected, brainwave steady, awake and conscious, normal appetite, intense appetite, cyclical 
cyclical brainwave pattern, re re return to normal status, intense appetite, intense appetite, intense appetite, intense appetite, intense appetite, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that got me again. Them shits, that, that, that thing scares the pants off me when that, oh good, someone picked up the handgun. Alright, these, these guys are arming themselves. To some degree. Uh, um, I need, actually, let me take that. You, you could take this one. I need as many bullets as I can to take out these bees that we're about to be. Ducking and dodging and juking in just a second. These bees are annoying if you just try to run past them. I advise you to shoot them. They are annoying, uh... Annoying plus they're poisonous. Did I tell you they fucking heap the files on you in this scenario? My god, man, we're reading a novel for this scenario. It's good, though. But the fact that the game doesn't stop for when you read files, it's like, man, they really want to kill you. I can hardly recognize this place. Perhaps the plants are subject to the experimental drugs effects. All I know is that I will die today. I will go to the hell <laughs> I will go to hell to pay for what I have done. I was one of the doctors involved in the experiments here. The test drugs supplied by Umbrella were routinely administered to patients and results returned and results returned to the company. You were trading human lives for money. Their scheme had run off the tracks. They were completely out of control. I have only recently come to know that the data is apparently being used by Umbrella for the development of biological weaponry. Of course, that's what Umbrella does. We all know that. Those bastards. This is in the heat of Umbrella's madness. In the, in the heat of Umbrella's fuckery and treachery. We are all criminals here, but the administrator alone had the ultimate motivation in his wife. Her disease had been declared incurable. And the prognosis had driven him to try any and all means to help her. Could that be Dorothy they're talking about? And Al? Al er Erdot? It wasn't long until the police got wind of the illegal drug imports, but they never pressed charges as, as threatened. That's when I first became aware of Umbrella's power. They even controlled the police. After what happened with the reporter, we thought that the hospital could no longer slide beneath the media's radar. We were wrong. Money makes the world go round, and it also keeps people quiet. It's been five years since then. I have moved on, moved away from Raccoon, but I still hear the screams. They never stop. Perhaps this insanity is some sort of divine punishment for my crimes against humanity. I doubt anyone will ever read this, but it doesn't matter. In the end, nothing matters. I've had enough of this, all of it. All I want now is sweet release. Alan, could that be Al Erdot? You should have, you should be ashamed of yourself to think that, uh... Do some more fucking management. Hey, you. you should be ashamed of yourself to think that uh, the world's greatest hey, newswoman right here wouldn't get a hold of that file, Miss Alyssa right here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Alyssa. Hey, you. Good. Everybody's in good. Well. George doesn't have any healing items, but, you know, well, George is tough. George can fucking make healing items. He's a damn doctor, for God's sakes. If he's not fine on his own, then no one is. I'm not going to worry about George. David, I'm worried about. He, David's the bungling idiot. So there's some flame rounds up here, which will complete our nine, which are essential. I tell you, for the love of God, I tell you, essential. Fuck you. I swear to god he just poisoned me. Thank fuck he didn't poison me. They had mercy on me. Thank you for that. Oh, okay, we don't need this handgun anymore. We can get rid of that. Probably grab some health with that. Uh, somebody grabbed a first aid spray. Alright, looking good. We're looking good. Yep. Yep, yep. We'll just hold on to the handgun for a little while longer, even though we really don't need it. What did you just set down? Did you just set down a mixture? Wow. He set down a mixture. I can't deal with this type of insanity, man. This this is what's wrong with this game. This is why people don't like this fucking game. Eight more pages of shit to read. Oh my god. This shit is file heavy. This is why it's one of the nice, one of, one of the more interesting scenarios, but also why it's one of the more crazier ones. The developers kind of fucked up with this. I mean, this is a safe room after all. No wonder the virus meter moves slower than any other scenario, because they knew, damn, we got too many files in here, and we're asking people to 
stay alive through being poisoned, having an axe man chasing you, this maze-like facility, and like 20 files that are all 10 to 8 pages long. God. It's been five years since my wife died. They say that time heals all wounds, but that is absurd. It's only It only gets worse with each passing day. It will linger forever. There's no hope left anymore. None. Oh, Dorothy, why did you have to leave me behind? I keep going back to the hospital. I can't forget her. The experiment has been covered up and swept under the rug, but I have no feeling of closure. I came across, I came across a curious plant growing in the intensive care unit in the basement. My wife's voice echoes in my head. Am I imagining things? Or could it be... I've decided to view this plan as Dorothy's re reincarnation. If I convince myself that Dorothy's wish has come true, maybe my own burden of sadness will be lightened. Administer's diary one. One week has passed. Dorothy has grown and now stretches beyond the basement. A large cluster of her has grown like a bulb in the basement. I enjoy re I enjoy feeding it birds, dogs, and other animals that I hunt down for her. For, for my Dorothy, my life feels full again. This is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I'll live out the rest of my life here with her. So, you know, this is probably the more meteor story behind what's going on than any other, you know, scenario. But, like, man. <sighs> it's just a lot. And believe it or not, folks, there's going to be a moment where they're going to give me another big-ass file. But it's going to be at a time where I absolutely have no chance of reading it. It's insane. I don't know what they were thinking. I have yet to read this file. In order to read this file, I would have to fucking basically just allow myself to die just to read it. It's bullshit. It's fucking poisonous. Oh yeah, George, run right into that shit. Now George is... What could I do? What could I do? How could I have prevented that? Now he's poisoned. Probably gonna die. Oh, it's just tough, man. That's why I encourage you when you play this scenario, do not save yourself the headache. Don't try to save anybody. Save yourself. Take off. Fuck it. Oh, there should be zombies out here. If I take too long and there's zombies like to come in here and that's a whole nother nightmare because it's so close quarters that my my, 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 my computer controlled characters will shoot him and spray his fucking poisonous mist all over the place and end up poisoning me. His first wave spray is all over the damn place. Shit, there's one out there in that hall, there was one in room 201 or 202, whatever room that was we just came out of. <sighs> So we're sitting pretty. Now we gotta go and get the poison syringe. It's another first aid spray right there. Now we gotta go get another poison uh, uh, another poison syringe real quick, and we'll be pretty much ready for the boss battle. But we're gonna do a lot of back and forth backtracking because our limited ass, terrible, terribly limited ass inventory space. You know, having your inventory space be limited as fuck like that is good for when there's an item box. It works. Not when there's no damn item box and no real good way to swap items out and shit. Uh, fuck! Over here! Over here! And the, and the zombies are relentless. They keep respawning and spawning and spawning and spawning and... And they're poisonous, for God's sakes. You can throw the bottle of solvent on it, but fuck that. God, I'm still in fine health. Come on. Hurry before the axe man comes. He's literally seconds. There he goes. Yep. He came in from where we're going. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. There's a first aid spray in the locker room area. I gotta remember that. This first aid spray is literally everywhere. This is why in the very beginning of this scenario when we started, I told you I was not worried about it. About myself. Just, 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 just these morons. That's all I was concerned about. He just picked up a crutch. I don't like how they program them to, to, to care about weapons more than healing because if they just stick by me and let me do the shooting and just follow me closely and just heal themselves when they get hurt, we'll all be doing great. Remember, there's an herb here. Yep, it's health everywhere. And there is an empty syringe here. However, I need to find an empty bottle. Empty bottle is very important. I can go to the locker room for an empty bottle. There's an empty bottle there. One of my computer controlled idiots might be holding an empty bottle for uh, on them. Oh, um. 
David's always bringing up the damn rear. Oh, that fucking plant hurt me? <sighs> this is crazy shit. I'm gonna have to uh, leave a mixture behind so I can keep my shotgun shells close. Yeah, they're holding an empty bottle on them. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this herb right here, take it, get myself full health, and take off. Might have to run back into that pharmacy room just to reset things so X-Man doesn't come down and kick me in my fucking vagina and shit. Kick Alyssa in her poor sexy night. Her little nighty, her little nighty wearing a vagina. Of course he's here. Of course he's here. Sound like, sound like he's fucking stroking himself off. Sounds like a straight up perv, like a lecherous fucking psychopath. Thank goodness this is a safe room, man. All right, we're ready to go do some syringing. We're gonna go kill that plant, and then we're gonna have to come back down here and get uh, get fill up a fill up a jar full of full of solvent to throw at the boss. And what we should be doing, we should be using about five flame rounds and about three solvent bottles, which should leave us about four flame rounds left. To take out Axe Man with to get the good ending because that's how you get it is you got to kill the Axe Man or you, you know well you'll see you'll see hopefully you'll see <laughs> fucking shit right in my face open the door right in my grill <sighs> he's on you man this is going to be a long episode. This episode might reach the 40 minute mark. Just to do this thing right takes time. Damn, Alyssa's looking good though. Fucking almost went the wrong way. Yeah, this first aid spray is everywhere. But the problem with my computer controlled characters is that you gotta spoon feed them everything. It would be one thing if whenever they got hurt, they just ran to the nearest herb or, or first aid spray on the floor, but they won't do that. Especially in sacrifice of a weapon. They could have a piece of concrete on them and they could be in danger. They won't put that shit down to get health. No way, no how. Oh my god. These zombies are so fucking annoying, man. Didn't even kill them. Didn't even kill them. Point blank shotgun. Maybe I should just start aiming up. Maybe the headshots will put them down. This, this makes me miss the original retro Resident Evil so much. It's so much better than this. Alright, baby, we're ready to roll. The only thing that could ruin this, thing, everything's perfect right now. The only thing that could ruin it is poor aim. That looks nasty as fuck, man. That looks awful. That looks revolting, wretched. <sighs> this game does a lot of cheating too, like enemies will move and characters will move during loading times and cutscenes a little bit. It's fucked up. That's not fair. See, that zombie's already in here fucking us up when you saw the game stopped and went to the cutscene before he stepped in. When we come back from the cutscene, he's in here grabbing people. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. We could have been gone. If that cutscene hadn't happened, he wouldn't have made it in here, on, you know, before I was out of here. So that's bullshit. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. I just poisoned the man. Fuck. Over here. Alisa. Everybody's Over fucked here. up and bleeding now. Over here. Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. My apologies. These guys will get themselves killed, man.
They're just running here to reset things, man. They're just out there getting themselves killed. Hey! <sighs> hey, you. Come on! There's literally health everywhere. I have got to... He's fine in caution, but... I don't like that George is poisoned. There's health everywhere, though. And it's such a pain in the ass and tricky to feed them health when Axeman is on the loose. And zombies are pounding on doors. I'm so spent. This has been an exhausting one. This has been the most exhausting scenario out of them all so far. Out of all I've done so far. This has been the toughest one. Come on. Come on. Yes. I'm just so tired of it. We're close, but I, st I still gotta fucking do babysitting right now. I gotta heal somebody. <sighs> oh, you just wanna hang out right there, fucker? Yeah, fuck you. Oh my god! Yeah, man, there's a slim margin for error. Very slim. That's why I tell you, do not, do not bother fucking trying to take care of these guys. At all. Hey! Oh, hi. See, he's in fine health. He's good, even though he's poisoned. Uh... You don't need that axe anymore. Use your fucking gun. They love melee weapons, man. They love them. Even when they have regular guns, they love melee weapons so damn much. Alright, I'm gonna stop shooting that shotgun. No more. And we're gonna go ahead and take off. And where's that empty bottle? I left it on the stairs. Okay, here goes nothing. Off to the basement. Again. Perfect. So I'm gonna grab this empty bottle. I'm gonna grab the first aid spray out of the locker room. And we will literally be ready for war. We'll be ready for the final showdown. Well, the next to final showdown. The final final showdown will be against Axeman. But we gotta get there in one piece with these guys. You know what, if, if I lose one of them, but I still get the good ending, that will still be worth it to me. I won't be totally bummed. I'll be a little bummed, but... Oh, he came through right as I opened it. Damn, so does that mean he's going to be already in here now? <laughs> he's going to be right in my face. This game's fucked up. Come on. Hopefully no one took that first aid spray. I don't... They wouldn't do that. They won't take it unless we go in there. I did leave it here, and I don't think they took it when I left. That would be fucked up. I could still find some health somewhere, I suppose. There it is. Good shit. And there's a green herb sitting there. You guys could fucking... <sighs> hey! Alisa. Hey, you. Right on cue. Let's get the fuck out of here. Perfect. Whew. Whew. So scary. Now everyone has health. No one has an excuse to die. All we gotta do is forward march to the basement. Good. Got six bottles on me too. I can. Damn. I could throw six of these. Uh, six of these things at him. Oh. <laughs> that axe dude is a bastard, man. He ch you see how fast he runs? Oh. <sighs> All right. 
right, we're looking good. We got a, we got a, a huge margin for error now because we have six empty bottles, which means I think I can throw six different solvent bottles at them, right? I've never had that many, so this will be interesting to see. I only owe, I've only ever had three going into this boss fight, so this is gonna be awesome. Oh my goodness! Woo! I might not even need to use this thing at all. Yes, sir. Let's go. You boys ready? You motherfuckers ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. <laughs> Let's -a go. I'm about to start. Man, this is a. I have. I have such a huge margin for like. I can fuck up a lot. Like I can fuck up literally three times throwing this thing, and still come out here doing good. Oh, scared the fuck out of me. But David scared the fuck out of me. I thought he was the X Man because he came so fast and he's got that hammer. All right, David, make yourself useful and try to chop some of these tentacles for me. How about that? I'm gonna go quiet, guys, for this. So. I'm gonna go quiet for this, so, uh, enjoy. This, 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 this is a, uh, aiming nightmare, because there's literally, like, five different things that Alyssa's gonna want to aim onto with that auto-aim, and, uh, nine times out of ten, she's not gonna aim where I'm trying to aim, so I gotta aim, and she's gonna be facing the wrong direction, facing the wrong shit, and I gotta twirl her around, to make her face the right shit and nail it. And even then you gotta make, cause you're doing it manually at that point. I'm not relying on auto aim at all, but it's on and it's gonna fucking make her go into areas that I don't like face areas I don't want her to. So I'm gonna have to adjust her each time. And that's where it gets tricky cause you gotta adjust her right so that she's facing the middle of this plant so that when she throws this or when she shoots something, it hits and it doesn't go off to the side. Cause you could be looking like you're right lined up with the front of it, but lo and behold, you're not. And that shit goes way off to the side and hits a wall. So yeah, pray for me. I don't know why she doesn't stay fucking equipped with that. Oh! Move, fucker! Ugh, can't fucking see. Saw how tricky that was right there. If you don't have your your fucking aiming right, you will miss. And the fucking auto aim wants to aim you at the tentacles on the ceiling that you can't kill in the first place. And it wants to aim on the tentacles on the floor, which you can't kill with a handgun or weapon. You can kill them, but you need like an axe or some shit like that. You know. Well, we're looking good. Looks like we're gonna pull this off. Oh. Oh, uh, I just gotta remember where to go. Uh, everybody, nobody's hurt. Perfect. I'm in fine condition. Perfect, 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 perfect. Woo, this is gonna be a long episode, but whatever. You guys got 40 minutes of an outbreak episode. Hooray for that. The yeah, Axeman's on the other side of this. You get ready for the showdown. Get ready for the showdown. Get ready for the showdown. He's not, he's gonna take like what, two or three of these flame rounds? I'm not even gonna need to touch my shotgun. Uh, 
forgot where to go at first. Over here. <laughs> as my as my compadres get pelted in the head by falling debris. Man, this, this, this game is so fucked up, man. This game is this uh, the Outbreak series is is an asshole of a series. Damn, son! Got him. Got him. And they were they were trying to screw me over too. They were trying to screw me over. I didn't know where he was at in relation to myself and on the screen and the camera angle. He kept hitting me, then shit would fall right on me, then he hit me and something would fall on me. And I had to reload that damn grenade launcher. You know the reloading and the, and the gun handling period by your character is slow as fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> so, you know. So, it was. Uh, for a second, I was worried. For a split second, I was worried. Like, because I didn't finish my reload animation every time I got hit. So, I was afraid they're going to keep on keeping me stuck in a reloading grenade launcher animation or something like that while I keep getting hit. But luckily, if that animation gets interrupted, you still got your shit loaded up. So. Hospitals' experiments were more than just human rights violations. They were crimes against nature itself. Kurt, your sacrifice won't be in vain. I'll escape this damn town alive and spread the truth about what happened. So there you have it, folks. All done. Uh, oh, man, oh man. Flashback is finished. All three characters saved. It was, it was definitely over an hour's worth of gameplay and shit. I don't know how the timing thing works on here, but yeah, it was the old man the whole time. You know, if you if you don't take him out and when the whole place is collapsing and falling apart like I did, you don't get that cutscene where he scurries off to go lick his wounds. You won't get that final shot of him coming with it, with him maskless holding Dorothy and saying we'll never leave and then awesomely getting crushed by the ceiling the roof I felt so good seeing that he caused us so much pain and anguish you know if you get the okay ending it's like kind of like he could have survived he might still be out there tormenting but no this one's exact he got crushed fuck him and as and to be honest I never saw the good the really good ending until I started to get ready for this playthrough because I never killed that guy. And then I thought to myself as I was getting ready for this, you know what? I bet you you can take this guy down. So I waited till the end when things are collapsing to take him out. And sure enough, I got an ending I never saw before. This whole time I thought you just never knew who the Axe Man was. And like back then, I just thought the old man got killed after he led us partly through the forest by the Axe Man. Because the Axe Man's voice sounded different and he seemed older. I mean, younger. And more, you know, he didn't seem like an old man, but sure enough, that was him. And yeah, that's gonna do it for that scenario, man. You know what? That's gonna be it for trying to save my whole party. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, from what I remember, Desperate Times is way easier. It's like the easiest one. I think I beat Desperate Times the most out of any of them. So when we get to that, uh, I might, I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it. Desperate Times, I remember, was my, my favorite one because it was back in the Raccoon City Police Department. Um, the first time you ever went back to a location, really, 
uh, in a Resident Evil game with different graphics and stuff, like a reimagining of it. It's like the first time that ever happened. And uh, I remember I loved it a lot. It was awesome. And we're going to finally control Kevin for the very first effing time. But uh, as far as saving everybody, I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore. That was too much work. That could have been so much easier if A, I went for a bad ending, and B, I didn't save everybody. I would have been, would've been quicker and easier and a lot less stress, a lot less of a headache. But hey, thanks for sticking out and watching it. Um, I'll see you guys next episode. If you liked the video, feel free to like it. You should absolutely like it after that shit, man. All, all of us made it. Good ending. Hooray. Definitely give me a like for that. Um, if you want more, subscribe. Yeah. If you like this content, you're going to watch more of it. Perhaps consider donating uh, as little as $1 or more to my Patreon. It would be greatly appreciated. If not, your viewership is what's appreciated the most. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, episode. We're going to do Desperate Times. We're very close to the end. Just two more. See you guys there. And remember, when we get to End of the Road, I've never played that yet. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what it's like. I have never hit X on this thing ever. I've never seen it. So that one's going to be blind. And, uh, yep, yeah, see you guys for Desperate Times next time. Later.